Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Shop My Stash. This week I did not wear too many polishes and I am cutting this week off early because I want to wear my Halloween polishes or at least like... I interpret them as Halloween polishes and I want to share them all with you in the same shot my stash video that is so I am getting way too deep into this and Halloween isn't even actually one of my favorite holidays I do not like the scare factor of Halloween I gotta say I have never liked haunted houses I don't like the creepy gory bloody things that people like to decorate their homes with. I just, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. And Halloween is kind of a bittersweet holiday for me. Um, this was around the time that my stepdad passed away and I was, I mean, he was like my favorite person in the entire world. We were like this, we were like this. And when he died, oh my gosh, my world just flipped upside down. I don't want to start crying, but anyway, so Anyway, what was I saying? I'm just gonna share with you the Halloween polishes that I wear from now until next week in next week's Shop My Stash video. Anyways, let's just start talking about the polishes that I wore this week. The first one is I'm Onyx. This is a re recent acquisition. I picked this up, I don't know, what is it, like a week ago now? <sighs> this is so pretty. I had been eyeing this for so long. I had put it on my want list. We were going to do, like, the YouTubers were going to do a secret Santa swap. Is that how it goes? I forget how you say it. Um, but we were going to do, like, a swap for the holidays. That ended up falling through, but this was one of the polishes that I put on my want list. Uh, and because it's it fell through, I was able to finally pick it up because, of course, I didn't want to buy all the polishes that I told my secret Santa that I wanted, right? Does that make sense? Anyway, so this is beautiful. This is so, so gorgeous. It is a very shifty polish, which I do not like shifty polishes, but there is something about that added hollow flaky in the polishes. I mean, it just finishes it off and it makes it look so good. So for this one, when I originally opened it, I thought that the flakies looked really, really small and they are really small, but that's why you need that second coat. You don't need any more than two coats, but that second coat I would say is necessary so that you can kind of, I don't know, the flakies don't get bigger. But they look like they're bigger and it just looks so good. So this one had a great formula and like I said, opaque in two coats. And the last polish that I wore this week is on my nails. That's how these videos always end, isn't it? Uh, and that is another recent acquisition and that is painted polishes, sideshows, and snow cones. I always get those mixed up. I always want to flip them. This is so cute. There's a navy blue, a pink, and also a yellow gold uh, glitter in there. It's a, it is a white curly base and this one is opaque in two coats as well. These painted polish curly glitter mixes I think would be perfect. Perfect for mix and match manis. I'm not really good with like eyeing those things. Don't ask me to decorate a thing, okay? I'm not good at it, but I bet there's somebody out there that can make this look so good. I might, I might try it. I need to try it. I need to like make myself try, like go out, think outside the box, do something different. But anyways, I love this one. I haven't really felt compelled to take it off. I am going to a trunk or treat tonight, um, which is of course for Halloween and I, I'm thinking about changing my polish. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. You guys will find out next week. So those are all the polishes that I wore. I didn't wear too many. I was really, really enjoying the ones that I did wear though. KB Shimmer's I'm Onyx is so gorgeous. Seriously, so gorgeous. I did not want to take it off. And even in low lights, I found that I could still see a, a subtle shift. In fact, if you put it under direct light, like uh, artificial lighting, I feel like it kind of, it's too much. It's too much. You don't want it under like a direct light source, but you do want some light so you can, can see the shift. I am rambling. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.